limited edition double bubblegum pink vinyl with gold splashes. I found this at a time where I was, um, let's just say, uh, experimenting. experimenting. Hello, it's Steve Lacey, me, Steve Lacey, and I'm about to spend some of GQ's money. So the first category is very GQ. We're gonna take a look at some clothes. So here we have a Gucci belted wool crepe jumpsuit for $3,980. Inspired by vintage designs, the white leg jumpsuit is reminiscent of the silhouettes popular in the 70s. I'm trying to find what my pant is right now, but I don't think it's wide, especially the like wide and flared. It's too, it's too big. It's too old school. We need to move this way, not that way. We've reminisced enough. Let's be futuristic now. But I like Gucci. Okay, we got the Bottega Veneta vest for $3,700. This is really nice. Got the intertwined nylon vest, snap closure, unlined. Beautiful parakeet green, made in Italy. This, this one's nice. And we got the Juicy Couture of a Lord Jogger suit for $198. I mean, this is, you know, an iconic design. We got the Juicy Couture jacket features, bejeweled monogram and silver tone, zipper pull. Yeah, it's cute. I wouldn't get this one though because I hate tapered legs. Just the cut on this is just not good, but the sentiment of the Juicy Couture sweatsuit is hot all day. But on me, it's not happening. My shoulder's too broad too for this jacket. So here we have the Jean-Paul Gaultier, the naked maxi dress for $680. Stretch nylon jersey dress, graphic pattern printed throughout. And this is a collaboration with Lada Volkova, who I absolutely adore. It's nylon, elastine, made in Italy, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I love this dress. But I think of all four of them, I'm gonna have to go with the Bottega vest. Yeah. It's the most modular thing of all of these things. So the next category is furniture. So for the first option, we have Werner Panton's Living Tower for $25,465. It is an organically shaped living tower furniture sculpture that was designed by Danish designer Werner Panton in 1969. I have this at home actually. For those of you who know me, you know my last album, Apollo 21, this is the piece of furniture that we shot with and it's actually at my house in orange, so I can't choose this one. I usually, uh sit just like regular or some friends will do it and it's really fun my nephews love it like he was just on the top sitting it's really cool and so for the next one we have the boomerang desk for $85,000 it's expensive made of fiberglass and metal has three drawers on the right and one deep file drawer on the left comes with a key this is pretty beautiful this one Okay, the Helio Endemio Contemporary Art Bed. $53,929.51 is the price of this one. It was made in 1987, Italian bed Helio Endemio designed by Luigi Ontani. Silver and gold leaf finish and Helio Endemio Beyond the smiling crescent moon, the radiant sun's gaze meets the eye of the creator who, at the same time, is both divine and profane. That's, you know, that's pretty on par to, you know, how I be talking and shit, so that's pretty cool. Boxing glove armchairs for $42,500 a pair. Made in Switzerland, leather, manufactured at 7 to 1 scale. It's pretty cool, but probably still gonna go with the bed. They're cool, but the fucking bed is just like out of this world. I'm going with the Helio Endemio Contemporary Art Bed for $53,929.51. That's my choice. The next category we have here are instruments. This is a good one. I love instruments. Yeah, they're kind of uh, my life. Okay, Philippe Dubray Prince Paisley Guitar for $34,522.77. This unique piece took six months to build. The guitar body is made of real paisley tissue and finished with varnish. Wow. Ebony fretboard, played by Wendy Melvoin, a guitarist for the revolution. We love Wendy. On stage at Wembley with 
Prince in 1990. That was a weak spot. That's a cheap spot. You know, that's a, you know, it's Prince. So it's definitely interesting. I mean, I wouldn't jump to this, but you know, the Prince shit, you know, that, that shit just jumps. But I like the little gold thing coming out, but yeah, it's a funny looking body. I wouldn't have designed this. Wendy, yeah, I've met her before. Yeah, I've met Wendy before. I know, you know, I think it was Anderson Pax. But Dave Chappelle, Wendy, and Lisa. My tour manager, Tina, she's like the coolest person in the world. She knows everybody. She's like, oh, you don't know them? Oh, Wendy and Lisa, this I'm like, oh shit, this is casual. It's Wendy and Lisa. I'm like, what's up? That's just crazy. But they're really nice. Oh, okay, this is funny. <laughs> Guitar Hero 2 guitar controller for $343.70. This does not cost that much. You can get these shits on eBay for like $60. I mean, I play it in arcades. Some arcades I go to literally to just play Guitar Hero. But yeah, they have the arcade game you can buy. But I'd rather it's cheaper, if, you know, on the console. But if ever I'm in an arcade, that's what I do. I find, you know, if they have it and I'm playing. Just playing with strangers, just fucking them up. Cliffs of Dover. That song used to make me so angry. I would literally like want to just break it. But it, on it though. I'm just like, I need to know how to play this song. But yeah, the clips was over. We have a double flute for $475 in the key of low D minor. Double flutes were originally made of clay and used as temple flutes in ancient Mexico. This is a pretty cool flute, but um, I'm not under 3000, so I'm gonna pass on this one. I was playing the trumpet for a second. I love the trumpet. Yeah, that's my favorite horn. I remember this kid Franklin, he used to show me different scales and stuff. And so I took one home. He's like, just take this. I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is the school's, but he gave it to me as a gift. So I'm like, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna take it home. <laughs> yeah, shouts out to Franklin. Uh, <laughs> and so next we have an antique harp for $30,297.91. Made in 1914, weighs 81 pounds, accented with 23 karat hand gilding. This is pretty beautiful. This is pretty beautiful. You know, for this one, I'm gonna go with the harp. If I'm gonna get a Prince guitar, I'm gonna get one of a design I actually like. This is just okay. So, the Prince history couldn't even fool me on that one. I'm going with the harp. It's a beautiful instrument, carrots and the floral accents. And the, yeah, this is it. This is in my living room all day. Let's look at some records, you guys. All right, let's come in strong. So we got Erica Badu, Baduism for $323.40. Mint condition includes rare hype sticker. Still sealed. It's a pretty good one. We love Erica Badu. Yeah, I mean, I think I grew up just listening to this in passing. This is gonna make me sound like a young dude, but I don't care. I feel like my Erica moment happened with the new America part one and two. I feel like that to me was like a sonic blueprint for like what I wanted to do, like the synthesizers and, and what she did with real instruments and how she took samples and like replayed them and her voice. Yeah, those are my Erica albums, but I love Baduism as well. I mean, how can you not? So here we have one of my favorite bands, Funkadelic, Maggot Brain for 699. This is mint condition vinyl, 1971. Original press, rare, matrix run out, etching variation. Disc is well kept. I like this one a lot. That's rare. And then Jay-Z, I just wanna love you. Give it to me <laughs> for $25. We got the 2000 original Rockefeller Records pressing. Original sleeve. First single written and produced by Pharrell and Chad. The Neptunes. Oh, Black Moth Super Rainbow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, we got the Black Moth Super Rainbow Dandelion Gum, $225. Gatefold sleeve with scratch and sniff front cover. Wow, that's pretty cool. Limited edition double bubblegum pink vinyl with gold splashes. Only a thousand copies were made. I found this at a time where I was, um, let's just say, uh, experimenting. This is pretty cool. I mean, this, the scratch and sniff, the gold splashes, beautiful. Oof. It's definitely between this one and the Parliament record. I'm gonna have to go with the Funkadelic record. I think through time, that one's gonna be like the most, like Black Moth Super Rainbow's dope, but it's not on the level of Icon. Gifts for my boo. Let's go get some gifts for my boo. 
Okay, this big ish box of peonies for $230. These are beautiful flowers. It's a assortment of 50 stems of organ grown peonies that ship straight to your booze doorstep. Okay, this is funny. Flaming Hot Cheetos in a napkin poem? Yeah, okay. Made with real cheese, egg free, peanut free, shellfish free, soy free, tree nut free. Didn't I know all these freeze about Hot Cheetos? I be eating these motherfuckers and I be feeling bad, but this is actually kind of kind of okay. Wow, nice. Then we have the Lorraine Schwartz 18 karat diamond bracelet for $41,600. No, no, definitely not. It's too expensive. I wouldn't even buy anything like this for myself. I can't get this like, for the nobody else. Then we have plush love cuffs for $16.95. But see, that's not for them. That one's for us. So I think one for them. I'm gonna have to go with the peonies for sure. That's a nice one for $230. Thank you, GQ, for this wonderful shopping spree. All my money's intact.